Welcome jefas, goddesses, and queens to another episode of Get It Girl. On today's Girl Talk, we're going to talk about the benefits of dancing. For that, we have professional dancer Kaylee Hatfield sitting with us. And on the couch today, we have one of the stars of the new Latinx show, Gente Fide, and entrepreneur Carrie Martin. And last but certainly not least, our favorite sisters, the Montoya twins. <laughs> All of that and more on Get It Girl. Did you know that dancing may actually be the best form of exercise? In fact, according to a study published by Harvard University, one can burn about 200 calories in 30 minutes from a quick paced dance routine. And it can also have a positive effect on individuals' mental health as well. Please welcome professional dancer, Kaylee Hatfield. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. Oh my welcome. gosh, your outfit. Thanks, girl. You guys too. Amazing. amazing. On it. <laughs> I'm on my dancing outfit. Yeah. That's what's dance inspired. I love it. No, so tell us, how did you start with dancing? What inspired you to get into this exercise so, world? Well, I was put into dance when I was six. So I've grown up in the whole dance world, competitions, all the things. Um, and then I moved out to LA for it as well, professional, professional dancer. And... You know, once I got here, I feel like I gained that freshman 15 without actually going to school. So I was putting right. on weight and I just lost my confidence. So I started working out. And then I was like, why well, don't I just want to do the boring stuff? You know, same weight thing training. every day. Yeah. yeah. So I mixed in some dance and made it more fun. So yeah, here we are. Yeah, wow. I think that's the <laughs> more fun cardio. Yeah. Because I mean, it's still yeah. important to do weight training for building muscle. Exactly. But if you don't like to run or mm -hmm. do cycling, totally. dancing is such a great way to sweat. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And even if you are doing both, like I know there's the soul cycles and all the other things that people like to do, but yes. throw it in there. It makes yes. it more fun. Like switch up your routine exactly. and you really only need like 30 minutes and it's so much more fun. And you your know? body adapts if you don't switch it up. So it's exactly. super important totally. to change but, your workouts. And so what are the benefits like, so, I mean, obviously there's losing weight, getting the good mm -hmm. sweat. Um, it definitely improves your mood. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Instantly, lowers right? cholesterol. Yeah, yeah yes. exactly. You're burning calories. It's, it's just, I mean, it helps you sleep better. Just really all around. I mean, who doesn't like to listen to music and jump yeah. around, yeah. you know? <laughs> I know. I love dancing. Even just when I'm not feeling, like, mm -hmm. sexy or when I'm feeling kind of in a rut. You know, we go totally. through days where we don't mm -hmm. feel oh the God, best. Yeah, yeah. And I think just turning on a, you know, a song, la musica, te yes. hace mover el cuerpo. Yes. You know, like it Definitely. totally makes your body move, That's, right? Yeah, I do the same. Like yeah. all the time. What since I was a kid, putting on like salsa music, when yeah. I fell down, I was dancing with right? my mom. We're there in the living room. Yeah, like, twerking. Before you know, you're sweating. <laughs> yeah, well, even then, like twerking looks like a squat. It is. Oh, oh my god. When I started club. doing, I did a twerk class. Your thighs really? are on yeah. fire. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good way to tone and you exactly. know. Exactly. Build that booty. Exactly. <laughs> and the nice thing about it is that you don't have to go to a class now. Tell us about your online classes. You're able to help women yeah. in their own home. So yeah, I have my website, KayleeHatfield.com. Um, you guys can go there and check everything out. I is do. Is it 30 minute workouts or what? What do you? What do the classes my look like? My favorite's like the 45. Okay. So oh. you're getting in. A little more so than 30, so it feels like you really got a good sweat in. Mm -hmm. um, but I combine a bunch of other fun things that are hard, but you know, you get yeah. to it. <laughs> push ups, yes, exactly. Yeah. Push ups, squats, add fun like plyo elements to it. Oh, so nice. So it's more than just like, you know, going to the club, you're actually going to start to build muscle and really yeah. tone. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great way to build confidence because I know so many women, they're not just going to go to a dance class. Even exactly. me, like, it took yeah. me a while to get into a yeah. dance right. class. Yeah. You that's know, why to I do something have, at home. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I have the start. at homes and then once you feel and you build that confidence because it is, it's somewhere. all about the mental game as yeah. well, you mm -hmm. know? You really want to feel confident in your skin to go to the gym and then also to go to a dance class and just, you know, feel good about your whole day, mm -hmm. you know? And people need to understand in order to change your body, you have to change your mindset. And First. in order to change your mind, you have to change yeah, your body. Exactly. So, so it goes together. Mind, that's totally when you dance. You start yeah. dancing to change your mind and exactly. then you do the rest. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, I get it now. Now I you get, get it. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> and tell well, us about your one-on-one -on -one sessions. What does that look like? So I train out of MacFit in North Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we just, it's a very cool vibe in there. They've got uh, flat screens and music videos are playing and you just, nice. you know, you're getting it in. There's obviously weights involved because it's, you know, it's a word very, yes. yeah, it's more personalized towards mm -hmm. your goals. And then if we want to take it to, you know, take it to the streets or take it to the actual, <laughs> right. you know, dancey stuff, we yeah. can do that too. That's yeah. why I love that I get to do all of it. People cannot neglect both of wow. them. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much for Thank coming you here. And we're so excited. I'm going to follow you yes. and I'm yes. going to start with Seriously. this dance. I want to talk 45 it. minutes at my house. Right. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. So, and guys, don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more Get It Girl after this. We are back on Get It Girl. Please welcome our next guest, the Montoya Twins. Woo! Welcome. It's Micah oh, thank you. and Maya. Girls, you've been here before, right? Yes. So yeah. welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> I know. It's Thanks so for coming cool. and hang out with us yeah, today. Of course. <laughs> so tell us what you guys are, you know, working on now. I know TikTok has turned into the big new it's thing, like but you guys vine. started on Musically, though, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes, how so did luckily, that whole inspiration start? Ooh, it was by accident, huh, Micah? I had downloaded Musical.ly. I thought it was like a like a Pandora almost. So I thought it was an app for music. Okay. And then when I figured out what it was, I showed it to Maya, and she just like blew up on it. I have no idea why. Yeah, but then we <laughs> fell off, and then TikTok came, and now we're trying to get back on it. <laughs> All right. So it's like so much harder now, though. Like it's with Musical.ly, it was so easy. You just post a lip sync, and now it's like dances. And oh, yeah. so it used to just be lip sync, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Now yes. you have to be talented. Now you have to be talented. <laughs> So it's well, much harder for us. You're talented. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know. You guys make your dad even get into some of the dances. I know. He wants to. Oh, he asked that's... me, like, he's like, I want to make this TikTok with you today. I was like, let's do it. I tried to make one with him last night, but it was too dark. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, lighting is key for making yes. any video. <laughs> key. I know. And what about your guys' like, dance routines? Where do you guys get your inspiration for that? Um, they just go viral. Like, everyone, someone will make it, and then everyone will start doing it. So you just, as soon as you see everyone doing it, just hop on it. Mm. But also, our best friend Michael is a professional dancer. Mm -hmm. So we've been making a lot of TikToks with him lately because he's pretty big on there. Okay. And he choreographs, like, all of them. He just takes full oh, control. Uh, yeah, I'm like, that's... Michael, I want to do this one. He goes, okay, let's do this and this and add this. And I'm like... So he's he gives creative. it a little twist to it, right? Yes. He There's still that creative. Spin. Do you girls yes. have any projects outside of social media? We're actually um, nominated for a Shorty Award, Award right now. Yes. yes for YouTube Ensemble. Ooh, ooh, so. Nice. Oh my God, that's yes. amazing. So we, hopefully we'll get to go to the actual award show, which is in New York Whoa. next month, I think. In May. In May? Yes. In May. May. That's yes. exciting. And then we have playlists um, in 10 days. Oh, or nine days. nine days, so we get to fly out for that. And then we have VidCon this summer, so we're excited. I know, and do you guys so do what? speaking at these, or just go to meet and greets? No, we uh, just Meet and greets speak. and panels, yes. yes. So How do you guys feel speak. with the public speaking part of it? I thought we'd be, we did our first one ever at VidCon last year, and I thought we'd be super nervous, but it was really easy. It was easy, And yeah. it was a lot of fun, I really liked it. You can't really see the audience, so it makes it like a lot easier, because yeah. <laughs> the lights on, so it's just like, oh, it's just like I'm talking to a camera so almost, there. right? <laughs> and then when the lights are off, like, poof, yeah, the right. audience yeah. is like, there, oh, like, exactly. how many people are watching? <laughs> and you can't edit those either, so you have to just be careful what you say on your panels, <laughs> but it's fun, I like it. I know, did you guys always kind of have that confidence though, or is it something you built through musically? Oh, oh gosh. I'd say, like, being on camera in general mm -hmm. has helped us a lot. She's always been super. I don't like, know. Because, like, like easy. in school, like, in school, I'd hate to give presentations. Oh. But I'd, I'd be been, so nervous. I've always been super shy, but I've noticed ever since we started doing, like, YouTube. Like my personality, yeah. personality has blossomed. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually yeah. have a conversation with like strangers now. <laughs> right? You don't feel like YouTube ever get, like started also giving you a little more social anxiety. Mm. Like for me, mm. YouTube kind of started to do that because you know we work in such, you know, in just our confined spaces. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys at least have each other. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I'm easier. like really grateful for because like when we get sent out to like events and stuff, I'm never by myself. Yeah, Micah's always together. with me. So yeah, I feel that. That so. <laughs> Would you like, so in the future, are you always going to be together doing projects, do you think? Or are you going to, like, do different paths? What do you think I in think the future? I think for a while we're going to be together, mm -hmm. but eventually we'll still do stuff together, but eventually we'll probably go our own ways doing stuff because I know she wants to be an actress. Oh. 
I have no idea what I want to do, so. I have time. Yeah, yeah. 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 time. And the fun thing is, like, if you try different things, it will eventually just come to yeah. you what mm -hmm. you love to do. Maybe it's singing, you know? Oh, my Maybe oh, goodness, it's no. She's <laughs> good at dancing. She should take up dancing. Wait, <laughs> dancing, yeah. I think she should. I'm, too, I'm still shy, so taking dance classes <laughs> will be out there for me. I mean, now you can do online dance courses, though. That's the wow. nice thing. Really? Yeah. That. We just learned that. We today. just learned that oh, today. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. Which makes it easier because now, I mean, even me, when I started to take twerk, I did it at, <laughs> you know, because twerk is a really good leg workout. Did you take twerk? Yes. Well, that's, we took well a dance eventually. Class. I took a dance class together. We did Zumba. Yeah, we oh did my Zumba. gosh. And I posted that on TikTok and it got like 300,000 views. Really? From really? me trying <laughs> Zumba. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I got certified. I got certified as a Zumba instructor, but no they way. teach you in one day like too many dances. And oh. it's really hard. You have to choreograph, you know, it's a lot of choreography. Mm -hmm. But with twerk, I did it at home and then eventually I had the courage to do it in a class. Wow. Oh my so is that you actually like twerk? Or? Yeah, I could twerk. <laughs> <laughs> I, <like twerk. laughs> I could definitely twerk. Well, we're gonna be right back with the Montoya twins, so don't be, don't go anywhere. <laughs> It is said that twin siblings know each other better than they know themselves. So we're gonna play a little game to see how well they know each other. We're gonna read questions about each other to see who knows who better. And the loser has to share their DMs. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's see those guys. I don't know, dad's here behind the scenes, so. <laughs> dad's gonna be like, let me hear this. <laughs> so let's start okay. with what's what is Micah's? Micah, right? We have to like distinguish yeah. that. <laughs> oh gosh, I got Most nervous. prized childhood possession. Mm. Child possession? I don't even think I know that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. She should know that, right? <laughs> oh gosh, I think. We didn't really have like no Barbies, no, no. like mm -hmm. we, we had each like, other. We, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's real. That's real. Yeah. Love. That's real sister love. No, but we had those, that little, we both had bunnies. Those little bee oh, bunnies. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'd say that. I have no idea where they are now, but I have like a pink <laughs> one. And they used like to little. be prized possessions, yeah. right? That's, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Okay, so okay. she gets the point. Because we just hang out with each other. So when oh, mom okay. and dad never like bought us toys, we just hang out with each other. Oh. <laughs> okay, for Micah, about Maya. Mmm. <laughs> Is she a dog person or a cat person? Ooh. I don't know. You keep saying you want a kitten, but we have a dog and she loves him. So I feel like, I feel like, mm, mm -hmm. she's cat like, cat person? I think I'm both. Yeah, you're like, it's like, because I want a midget balance. cat, but I want a French bulldog at the same time. So. Okay, okay, I can see the duality. She likes both of them. <laughs> but cats can be mean too, so. Yeah, uh, I know. Like, they definitely have that snappy. big personality. Yeah, they do. Yes, no, okay, so what did she want to, uh, let's have you answer this one now. So what does she want to be when she grew up? What is Maya? Yeah, Maya. She wanted to be a neonatal nurse. Good job. Oh my God. <laughs> she is on fire. You had that recording in your mind, right? Because <laughs> you were like. Psh. I know my sister is too, it's oh, oh. And is that something you'd still want to go do? Is it something? Like Oh no, being a nurse, no. I took med term in high school and then like they gave us all the vocabulary and I was like, I gotta find something else. <laughs> oh, no, At least you this. tried it though. You I don't did, know until yes. you try it. I mean, I had it like A's in that class the whole year, but I was like, no, I memorizing cannot. Them. Yeah, memorizing it, nope, cannot <laughs> do it. <laughs> You're like, it's hard. Yeah, I thought about being a doctor until I took biology in high school and I was oh, like, gosh. oh my gosh. But then I went into fitness, so you learn the body. It's just mm. not as like yeah. in depth as There's like. Not a lot of it's not less. Exactly. Eight, There's still science, but it's <laughs> like the first layer of science. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go for another question. Wow, okay. For um, Micah. Well, let's ask Maya a question, because I just asked two yeah, of them, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's ask her a question. For Maya. Who was the, um, oh, who was the first kiss? <gasps> what? Who was the first kiss? <laughs> Well, I haven't had my first kiss. Oh, you haven't? That's so sweet. Only because dad's here. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna say dad, because <laughs> kiss on the cheek. Oh, dad she was her first, first kiss. kiss. On the cheek. Dad's her first so kiss. Dad She's a good sister. Kiss. She's not going to throw her under the bus. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> that counts as the point, because that probably was the first kiss, though. Probably. Right? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true, though? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like on the fashion. So I'll have you ask um, Micah again. So what was her what was her favorite shirt? Her favorite shirt? Oh gosh, I don't know. Like ever? I mean, maybe like right now. What's her current? What's mm. her favorite like style shirt right now? She wears a lot of off the shoulder, like all and the time. And it looks so good on her. The yes, off the shoulder is so cute. Like the size of like broad shoulders, they don't fit in regular shirts. So like, I'll wear shirts. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Shoulder. Yeah, someone say off the shoulder. Oh my but gosh, she so always wait. says that I bite her style, so I don't know, I guess it's anything. Well, right? when I dress up, it tends to be off shoulder, but mm -hmm. if every day I say like crew necks. So but if it, yeah, I was about to say if it's something comfortable, it's hoodies or mm -hmm. crew necks. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I think they tied her. Who do you think won? I think they tied. Maybe yeah. they both have to show us. <laughs> or just tell us, just tell us, <laughs> what, just tell us the last creepy DMs you guys got. The last creepy? Oh, I got goodness. three pics. Oh, oh. Of like. Oh, yeah, very. Oh close. my God! Isn't that a crazy? Why is it always like I that? I know. <laughs> I get um a lot of like sugar daddies. Sugar daddies. Like, Can I pay for your bills? And I'm like, no thank you. Oh my God! I don't even take it back. I don't like my own bills. Um, is it is it me? I'm sorry. Gia takes us to commercial. Sorry, yes, that is me. <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure to have you, girls. Don't thank go anywhere. We'll be right us. back with more. Get it, girl. <laughs> And we're back with the amazing Latina who gives life to Ana Morales, our sarcastic, woke, blunt, and endearing queer artist at the new Latinx Netflix show, Hentified. Please welcome Carrie Martin. Welcome. Hi. Thank y'all for having me. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Hi. Your your energy is just like so uh, beautiful. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you're, you. so, you're blooming. <laughs> I know. Thank How you. exciting was this new project for you to work with America Ferreira? Oh my She's god. Like it an was an idol of mine. I, I know. Her. It was actually amazing. Um, I like tell this story at the at one of my auditions, yeah. like, you know, we go through all these processes, and at one of my auditions, I didn't even know she was gonna be there. And I walk in, and I totally had a fangirl moment. I was like, okay, back to why we were here. <laughs> but like, and she was so amazing about it, so I was so grateful, but she is such a powerhouse. Mm. She knows what she wants. Um, she's definitely an, a, an actor's director, for yeah. sure. Yeah, she really knows how to be uh, empathetic to you guys, 100%, right? 100%, yeah. 100%, yes. And the um, also the fact that you've been an actress for so long, though, how is this project different from things that you've done in the past? Oh my gosh! You know, well, first of all, this is my first series, uh, so it's such a blessing. So it's super cool. And then my character is so insanely different from who I am as a person. So to really stretch that right out of the gate was incredible, and like probably, probably the best experience I've ever had for sure. Wow. Yeah. So tell us about your journey in general. Um, like, well, uh, just to keep it kind of short, I from New Orleans, mm -hmm. and I, I did go to college. I went to Louisiana State. Go Tigers! But uh, yeah, but I started taking acting classes like off campus mm -hmm. in like the Baton Rouge area, and I fell in love with it. And my roommates would always be like, "You literally shine." that one day a week that you're in class. And I was like, wow, I must be like, you know, this must be something that I really like and I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, but then I always tell this joke, I really should have known I wanted to be an actress when the reason I wanted to go to college was because I wanted to be a law student like Elle Woods yeah. oh. from Legally Blonde. I was like, I really should. And they're like, why would that be? And I was like, oh no, it's a lot of reasonings. I was like, in my mind, that's a huge reason. Um, but no, it was amazing. I loved the college experience. Mm. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, but when I graduated, I told my parents, I was like, um, so I think I want to go to LA. <laughs> what did your parents say? They, you know, they were like, why? What are you going to do? You know, and they were like, who are you going to live with? You know, being <laughs> from the South and Latina in a very like, you know, just like conservative family. Mm. Um, they're like, um, I don't, I don't think so, but they're super supportive. Yeah. They loved it. And, and I was able to do this with my sister. Um, who's also an actress and currently working at home on a project that hasn't been announced yet, um, so I can't Ooh. say, but really excited for her too. <laughs> and you bought this amazing collection. Yes! Tell uh, us about this collection. Oh my gosh, okay, so um, our collection is called Martin Avenue. Again, my sister and I designed it together. Um, and it was born in the heart of LA, I guess. Uh, so it's a little bit of Southern and Los Angeles flair, because two of our favorite cities. Uh, so yeah, it's and it's like a gender neutral name and logo because we hope, fingers crossed, you know, as the uh, company grows, that it can be um, like for men and female, you know, women as well. Um, but yeah, so 
pretty uh, casual everyday wear that you can dress up, dress down. Mm -hmm. um, our new collection launched in December. I'm actually wearing I know, one of I our love dresses. This piece. Thank you. Um, it's called the Share. Um, yeah, so it's like a baby doll with like you know a little, a little, a little sexiness. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you guys just have your website up right now. We do. Yeah. You can. Um, it's www.shopmartinav. So a v e. dot com. Oh, and so when did you? You said recently. You just launched in December, right? Yes. Our second collection launched in December, um, and we're really, really proud of it because most of our pieces, as you can see here, we have two t-shirts. Um, this is Hola Y'all. So in Hola the South, we say y'all. <laughs> we try to keep it really simple. Oh, um, yes. And then we have our, our New Orleans t-shirt with like the established date. Yes. Oh, this is so cute. I like so, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super this rugged. So cool. um, and both of our t-shirts come in two colors. And then our cardigan, which is like oversized, really oh, cozy, nice. comes in three colors. Then, like I said, our dress to share is um, three prints. Um, then we have bell bottoms. Our oh, boulevard oh bells are yes. so cute. I and love bed bottoms. What know, is so right? fun <laughs> about them is they have a little in, inner slit, like oh, in the leg. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Can and I try this one? Yes. <laughs> you are one busy woman. I mean, and you do. So you have this clothing line. Yeah. You just finished the show. And you also worked on, on the Will Smith new movie with Bad Boys, yes, right? You do yes. everything. You did casting, though, I did for that casting, one. yes. Um, I was very inspired to know what was happening on in the background to be a better actress. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I kind of went into it and I worked for an incredible company, which is Betty Mae Casting. Um, such a reputable company here in LA, does some of the best movies and working on Bad Boys was like the highlight of my time there for sure. Yeah. Will Smith was incredible. I got to be in Chem Reads. I was just like in it with them. Uh, so it was an amazing experience. Oh my God. And I just love how you're not labeling yourself to one thing, you know, yeah. we are so many, we could be so many different so many verticals things, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, we don't have to get to one thing and it just helps us explore and know ourselves more, right? For sure. A hundred percent. Well, thank, thank you so, yeah. so much today for joining us, yeah, Carrie. Thank and thank you for our other guests today, Kaylee Hatfield and Montoya twins. Don't forget to follow us on Get It Girl TV and LA TV network. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>